How do you both embrace and let go of the sunsets that are in your life? Help you again? Yes? Mm. This is what we're going to explore in today's video. Hi, I'm John of Figurative Arc. I'm a visual artist looking at creativity and how it enriches our daily life. And we are going to be looking at sunsets, and I'm going to share with you some images I took on the Greek island of Santorini, which is famous for its sunsets. But the neat thing about sunsets is you don't need to go to Greece to catch something spectacular. All you need to do is step out your front door in the evening and take a look, see of what's going on. But I did want to talk to you about the rituals that I go through while I'm experiencing a sunset. And I'd be interested in hearing what sunsets have meant for you. When I'm in a sunset, of course I'm a photographer, I'm going to take pictures, but I also kind of want to be careful that I'm not taking so many pictures and taking myself too much out of the moment. So trying to balance, yes, I would like to have a record of this, but I also want to experience it and be mindful. So that's what sunsets are for me. It's, it's an opportunity for me to be fully present in what's going on, not worrying about the future, not thinking about the past, just being grounded. So it's very much a mindful, meditative thing for me. The other aspect of it I think that's key for me is as the sun is going down, is to think about the day or the week or the month or the past year. And is there anything that I need to let go of? And so I speak that as the sun is going down. And I'm also embracing the promise of a new day. Now, when I say that, of course, I do need to address something about this because someone may think, well, what if it's your last sunset? What if this is the end of your journey on planet Earth, right? Where we come to the end of our lives, which is going to happen to all of us. And so what is the promise there? So for me, I would argue from a scientific point of view, one of the laws of physics is energy cannot be created or destroyed. And so I know for myself personally, who have lost people, that their energy has become entangled in some way into my consciousness and affects the way that I think about things. And so in that sense, that is a promise that that part of ourselves will continue the most important thing about sunsets along those same lines is who are we with when we saw them? And that energy also remains with us. So these sunsets that I've been showing you, I was with a group of travelers from all around the world and they stay with me. And even though many of them I'll probably never see again, their energy keeps revisiting me and my heart. But how do you view sunsets? leave comments below. I'd be interested in if you have any rituals or maybe it's just something pretty you look at and that's okay. But I would be interested in your journey if you are willing to share. Also, if you like content like this, consider giving a thumbs up. That helps other people find the channel and consider subscribing as we continue this series looking at creativity enriching our daily lives. Hope to see you again on the channel sometime soon. Until then, take care and toodaloo.